Welcome back everyone, it's Kirok here. Welcome back to another episode on the Minecraft Project Singularity server. Today we are doing the dock. Look at this. I think I'm getting the picture here. <laughs> Thank you Walden for making the point. Yes, yes, we're going to be putting the dock in today. Uh, let's, let's get some of these out of the water because we're going to need to work here. But he started me off with some boats, so that's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to make a ton of boats later. Oh, no. Okay, got it. Do I have space in this one? Some. Oh, they don't stack because they're all different colors. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to make them all one color. Um, all right. So, we're going to be building the dock here. And uh, I'm... I'm thinking of leaving this like it is here, but I, I might play with putting full wood right from the edge where this wood ends all the way out to the dock. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But what we're going to concentrate on is the dock itself, and we need two types of wood. This, and as you can see, i got tons of it, so we're going to carry... We'll leave a little stash behind. No, stay there. Um, I have oak, too. So... Let's organize a bit. We'll put that there. And then I also have a bunch of the regular oak wood. Mm, shouldn't have done it that way. Do it nice and nice and slow, see. Uh, that, 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 that. We'll leave this here. So we're pretty much even. We're not going to go through all this wood, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, oh, we need fences. Uh, what else do we need? Do we need slabs? Uh, no, I don't think I'm going to use slabs. Um, nothing else from here. Let's grab one of these so in case I need one. Uh, yeah, that should be it. Actually, we're going to need a couple of signs. Let's grab three. And there's a bunch of other materials that we're going to need. We're going to need um, slime. Maybe I'm carrying too much wood. Let's put one stack of this away. Did that go in the right place? Yeah. You know what? We'll put it away. It's more than enough. We'll put one, two. We'll do that. As far as slime goes, this is going to be a pretty slime intensive one. We really need 24 of those. And we also need some redstone blocks, which I think I have. I left that one open. Uh, how many did we need? We needed eight. So eight redstone blocks. Okay. Let's grab randomly. Um, we need sticky pistons, and we need about 12 of those, so we're going to have to make a bunch. Dang it. Let's do this. Hello. Little, little, uh, slow at clicking around. Oh, I put that in the wrong place. That iron's supposed to be in the iron chest. Seriously. There we go. Um, so we need iron actually to make the pistons. How many pistons are we? 12, so it's going to be more than enough. We need cobblestone to make the pistons. Let's see if we have enough wood and stuff to make them now. Let's do... I use less of the dark wood or more of this. I can't remember. It really doesn't matter. So let's do this. That's good enough for now. Uh, how many? My math sucks, by the way. Let's see if we can do this. That's good. I'm happy with that. Um, we'll put 20. I always get this backwards. The other way around. Always. So we have two, so we need 10 more. That's it. Oh, it's not sticky yet. Let's get all the materials back. We'll make it sticky. Put this back. Close that. That's closed. This is still open. Let's go to the slime. 
I had very little slime, didn't I? Five. Okay, we'll take one of these guys and convert it. Grab one from here, that's ten. Make these guys into sticky pistons. Twelve, exactly what we need. Good. Looking good. So, uh, first thing we're obviously going to work with or uh, do is uh, make the dock itself. No, that wasn't the right one. There we go. So, let's begin laying that out. It's nighttime and it's raining. Cranky's on, so I can't sleep it away. So, it'll have to stay. Um, yeah. Let's place the workbench down. I don't have a lot of food either. It's okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to make... We'll make a bunch of that. And we'll start laying it out. Now, from this pillar here is where the dock begins. It's going to be actually out of this wood. So we'll do that. Like so. Now, I did make, if you remember on my odds and ends episode, I did make... Um, uh, a bunch of uh, water breathing potions and night potions, night vision potions. We're going to use that once we work a little bit under the, under the water. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly give you a picture of what it's going to look like. So it's going to be like this. Four wide. Whoops, that was accidental. And go further out. And then it's going to spread out over here. But... I'm going to have just one dock branching off, and then from that dock, we're going to have one down at the edge, and one, uh, I actually, I think that's it. It's just a like a T-shaped. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to start laying that out, and then I'll bring you guys back when I've got a little bit more of the dock in place. Okay, welcome back, guys. Um, let's grab a few of these. We're going to grab water breathing. Let's grab two. And then we'll get to night vision. We'll start with those. Um, so I didn't lay out the whole um, dock. What I did is I kind of uh, substituted some of the ground here. Actually, most of the ground is still here. This dock overhangs the water. You can see that there. Um, <clears throat> and this is basically the edge. I'm going to be placing fences along this edge as well, like Actually, no, not like that. I'm going to be doing them like that so they're outside. But I won't have, I don't believe I'm going to have the second section, the bottom section. I'm going to have them just hanging out like this. Or maybe I am going to have this bottom section. We'll see how it looks. Yeah, I think we are. We are. Yeah, like that. We'll see. I'll figure that out. But anyways, the docking system itself is right here. Uh, this is not the dock. This is just to give you an idea how long out or how far out it's going to go. Uh, so it's going to go up to this point right here where I'm standing. And then there will be a branch off on this side. And it will go as far as this point right here. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do next is fill them in. But before I fill them in, I'm going to use... Uh, logs to mark the spots. So let's do this. Let's do um, our night vision. Everything should become brighter. Look at that. We can see right through the water. This is amazing. Oh, yes. And it's going to last eight minutes. So I don't want to waste it. But then again, we got enough potions to do this. We did a night vision. And what's the other one? Water breathing. So if we go underwater, we don't have to worry about anything. There we go. So the next thing I'm after is this. Um, let me... I'm, I'm purposely sinking. I don't really care anymore because I have tons and tons of water breathing time. Um, this is what's going to determine everything. So we're going to... And, and you'll see what I mean by everything. Let's do this. Let's get rid of that, that. And now we'll place a pillar. So the dock is going to have support pillars like that. There we go. Come on. Underwater, that's right. Okay, that still worked. The shovel did its job. So we'll have um, another one on this side. So I'm going to place that, that, which will allow me to put the block properly. I thought it was going to go up there. There we go. Take away the sand. Let's 
because I'm not sitting or standing, I think. There we go. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here we put another one. Ah. Okay, okay. There we go. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one and place a new one. And then we do one on the corresponding side, like that. Oh, but we haven't laid out the rest of the dock. Okay, then there's another one, 11, 11 down from there. And these are important because I, I spaced them out to make a section for the boat launches or um, evenly spaced out so that I can make sections in each part or each... Oh my God, I can't even speak. You'll see what I mean when I get it done. So let's do 11 more. So that's one... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, and eleven. So we're doing one here, like that. Good. That's what I want. Get up here. Get up here. There we go. So these are are the spots where we are placing long tool, where we are placing our support beams for the dock. So I'm going to fill this in, and then we're going to bring them all the way down. So I'll give you an idea, actually, before I do that, I'll show you what I mean. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. And this is a nice, deep spot. I really like it. So I've been playing around with some ideas and doing something underneath the water or under the dock here. Okay, take those out. So essentially, we're going to have support pillar go all the way down to the bottom like that and this will happen in uh, on each of the pillars that I've already marked a spot plus the opposite sides of them on the dock actually I forgot there's one down here so it's going to be one two let me just double check yeah one two three so it's one two three this one right there right there and this is why I needed the um, the wood. I'm hoping I'm gonna have enough. If I have to go harvest more, I'm gonna I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> oh, we forgot to take the sand away from this one. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start uh, laying out the dock, and then I'll bring you back for the underwater work. Whoa. I didn't see the uh, night vision icon in the corner here and the underwater breathing. That's pretty cool. I didn't even realize that. That's awesome. Even from potions. Cool. Welcome back, guys. So uh, you watched a little bit of a <clears throat> time lapse there where I laid out the rest 
of the dock. These are all the legs they are going to stick out, or these are the supporting beams. They're going to stick out above the dock as you see them now. We're going to work on putting the support beams all the way down to the bottom like we do with that one next. That means using another night vision potion and water breathing potion. But um, this is what we're doing with the fence. We're tagging it on at the very end. So I still have an open gap here to run out that way if I wish. And then the fence is going to come all the way back like this above the water. Whoops, wasn't supposed to go there. There we go. And tie into that. And then we're going to have, I think, the same thing over here if I'm not mistaken like this like that then over the water and we can still go through here we have a gap like that like that and I believe it just ties into this like that and that's that's the fence that's going to hold us back from you know ah falling into the water if we want to fish we can just go right out to the tip of the dock and fish because there's going to be nothing over here blocking anything so the next step is uh, the legs below. So let's do this, the support beams to be more accurate. You know, eight minutes isn't really a long time uh, <laughs> when you're doing something. It's like all of a sudden everything goes dark and you're like, what? <clears throat> there we go. So I'm hoping I have enough. Oh, cranky joint. I'm hoping I have enough. Oh, dang it. Uh, logs. Oh, it's because I'm underwater. It's going to take forever. Okay, I got to make sure not to misplace any blocks. Come on, break. Hang on, Cranky. I'm going to respond. Hold on. Hiya. <laughs> underwater. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, let's see if we can finish this, and then I'll chat with him. Some people might say, well, Kirok, why are you putting the dock underneath? You know what? No one's really going to see it, but it's just that added touch that makes it more authentic. Do you know what I mean? Whoops. Shite. Well, I'm touching the ground, so this should go quick. It wasn't that bad. Okay. I don't know if under underwater, if it means um, touching the ground makes it fast, or if your head's above water, that makes it fast. Hang on. Let me, let me quickly chat with him. Sorry for the late response underwater. <laughs> How much time do we have still? Six minutes, 29 seconds. We have more than enough time. No problem, he says. Apparently, he's uh, he's found... Okay, so uh, th for those of you who don't know, Cranky has uh, abandoned the skyblock. He's pretty much done everything that he needed to do. In a few of the videos, I did mention that... Um, we were going to give him or task him with something to achieve to get off the island. One of the ideas that I had thought was um, asking him to make a complete set or uh, of, of uh, enchanted armor. And he had all the materials there to do it. I need a good bow name when you get a chance. Okay, cool. He, uh, he had all the materials. I mean, we put them there. If he used them wisely, he would be able to easily... Uh, make not necessarily quickly but easily make um, a full set of enchanted armor what I didn't realize was in, in building his um, here we go in building his there we go we're done so we're finished the underwater this looks awesome I love it except for that one screw up where was it right here um, actually that looks kind of nice Oh, I might just do that since I have a lot of blocks left over. Yeah, that looks great. Just do it like this. Nice little rim job. Oh, uh, did I say that out loud? Yeah, I'm going to leave that. That looks awesome. Uh, so, yeah, as I was saying. Um, but I didn't, I didn't take into account that he was going to build a mob spawner. And he got enchanted armor from all the mob drops in way less time. So, good for him. Uh, but he has left the sky block starting area that one up there that you're looking at and um he has found a suitable place for his base and he's working on that and he asked me to come over and check it out i think that looks good i think that looks really good with that yeah 
especially right under the fence. It's a nice little border. I think that's awesome. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Give me that. Okay, you don't want to give me that. Put one of these in there. So it looks like it tapers off. There. There. Hmm. That doesn't work. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll go back down there and fix that. Oh, wrong tool. Give me some dark ones. We're done with the fences. Yeah, I think that looks better. But we're going to leave it tapered off like that. And then that means this should be this, 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 this. So it's tapered nicely. Yeah, that looks better. Sweet. Yeah, so he's invited me to go over and check out his base. I will do that. Uh, but, you know, working on my dock. <laughs> Walden's going to be super happy that I got this dock done. And so this is the dock. We put the pillars in. Now it needs to be lit up. Um, and what we're going to be doing is using the remainder of these fences. We're done with the fences on the edges, but we need to put in fences going up off here like that. They're going to be a certain amount high, and then torches are going to be what's going to be lighting them up. Uh, we'll do that for all of these posts. And then we're going to have, there we go. Let's go to the bottom ends just for now. Um, we're going to have four launch points, I think it is. We're going to have one here heading out this way, one here heading out this way, and another one here heading out this way, and another one directly behind me heading out that way. They're going to be automated launches. Now, the uh, automated system that I kind of came up with worked great in 1.8, but 1.9 seems to have kind of crippled it. It doesn't, it's not totally broken. It works, but it doesn't work all the time. So I've made a little bit of a modification that will allow it to work most of the time. So we're talking like 90% of the time, but it's actually a fun modification. So I decided to keep it in there. Um, I will be back shortly and uh, we will begin working on the actual ports, okay? Uh, what I think I'll do off camera is finish up the lighting with these posts and then we'll do the uh, the launch posts, the launch, uh, what should I call them? Launch, the launches, the launches. Yeah, that's it. Welcome back, guys. All right, so um, I did modify this side a tiny little bit because I wanted to keep, um, I wanted to keep this here a two gap, so I had to kind of take that row of logs and move them over left so it's in line with this, but it still looks good. And uh, I decided to, against uh, putting a fence right there and locking it in because on this side, if I did that, I wouldn't have space to run through. So I did that. The light posts, as you can see, are completed. Uh, but they will not be the only light source on the dock. We will also have them in the launches. And these dirt blocks here, 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 and here all indicate where the launches will go. Now, the next thing I want to do is start putting up the signs. And I think we're going to do this. Let's see. Welcome. Actually, no, that's not going to work. Put a few spaces. We're gonna have to figure this out. Welcome to a few more spaces. So, welcome to uh, probably one more. That's enough. Welcome to there we go. Trying to make it so it looks like they uh, the words cross over onto the second sign. Welcome to uh, one line down. I've thought about it. Uh, Cranky gave me part of the name that I'm calling this, uh, this dock or this area, and that's Cove, but I decided to go with Skull Cove uh, because of the skull that's all the way on the other side. So let's do this. There we go. So welcome to Skull Cove, and the skull is down that way there. I think it fits really nice. Welcome to Skull Cove. Now he was uh, he was suggesting using something a little more uh, cozy and comfortable, but it just fits. It once I thought of Skull Cove, I was like, "Yep, yeah, definitely can't miss it. It's right where the skull is." 
Um, on this side, for people departing, we're going to put a quote from a movie, uh, Star Trek IV, uh, The Voyage Home. It's the one where Captain Kirk and his crew go back in time, back to, I think it's uh, 1986 or something like that, Earth, to bring back humpback whales to save the planet. And uh, I have to plan this all out here. So I'm going to use this quote that happens partway through the movie, almost, almost completely through the movie. And it goes something like this. Uh, so hang on. They say the, go down to the next line, eight spaces, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But the C. Now, of course, you're, you're only seeing bits and pieces of it because the other sign on the right side is going to make up the rest of it. This is going to be 13. 13 hottest. There we go. And then the right side will say, uh, C is cold, comma, contains, oh, I did that wrong. Let's go back up one. So here we add spaces to the word C until we can't go anymore, basically. This one is contains uh, the spaces. And then here, we're going to put blood of, whoops, of all in spaces. Totally oh, damn, we got a thunderstorm happening. So there's the quote there. They say the sea is cold, but the sea contains the hottest blood of all. So it's, it's out of a scene in that movie. Holy cow. Hang on a second. Sound. Weather is at 5%, for Christ's sake. Okay. Let's keep playing. Yeah, so they that happens in a scene where uh, Captain Kirk and the lady he meets in 1986 are looking at the whales. Boy, looking at the whales uh, once they get them on board and they're about ready to take off and go back to the future. So I think that's fitting because um, we need whales in this game. You hear me, Microsoft? <laughs> Used to be, you hear me, Mojang? <laughs> so yeah, I think that... That quote works very well. Uh, so what I'm going to do in the next scene, because I'm going to cut here, I'm going to wait for the storm to go, is I'm going to show you something I discovered on the server. It has nothing to do... Will you guys stop? Holy cow. It has nothing to do with this dock, but you need to see this. So I'll be back in a second. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So I was uh, running around spawn... And I noticed a few extra icons on the top there. And I was like, hmm, that's weird. And then I came over here to the town hall. And I noticed a few extra beams around here. And I was like, huh? <laughs> and this has got Walden written all over it. And it's changed the original design I made. Walden, Walden what, what have you, have you done? done? Just kidding. Uh, I think it's awesome. <laughs> it is freaking amazing. I am actually beyond words because it, to put this extra two, these extra two beams in, he had to elongate the glass roof. He had to elongate this ring above us, the wood below us, the the, the redstone under it. Because you can see these are like three stairs where this is two, and. He made it work, and he made it work so well, at least I believe it's Walden, he made it work so well that you can't even tell there's a difference, and it still works. Press the button, and, oh, oh I almost got, I almost, press the button, and, uh, <laughs> amazing, amazing, I really like it, good work, Walden, that's crazy, wow, okay, so back to the dock. All right, we're going to build one together, guys. Let's build it out here. Uh, la, 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 la. That's going to come out. So there are a number of... Oh, damn it. 
Yeah, like that. Okay. So there are a number of um, obsidian blocks that have to go in because we're going to be taking advantage or using my... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I really want those pieces of wood back? No, I don't. Uh, that's not going to let me up. So we're taking advantage of some slime functionality. Um, so that basically means that we need obsidian in certain places. Otherwise, what ends up happening is uh, the slime starts pulling the actual dock apart. So we need five. So that's one, two, three, four, five out. This one is going to be... Let's see if I can get it. I have dispensers. I made them when I was uh, off camera. Place it here like that. That's good. And then another... Whoa. Uh, yes, that's right. i got to press shift to put... Uh, shift and then that's it so this is the the actual launch um, I have buttons on me as well so let's put the buttons uh, right on there I guess it doesn't matter what orientation is but that button will allow you to push or uh, pull out a boat from inside the dispenser we're gonna have a bunch of boats in here eventually and then here we're gonna have um, two sea lanterns to give off light those two are going to go one two then we're going to have a sticky piston so let's switch with sticky pistons facing out i'm going to go in the water to do this there we go and that that sticky piston is essentially going to move a row of slime blocks back and forth so this is the dock okay uh, we need to put in the electrical <laughs> the redstone one button goes there. That's the button that's going to trigger the launch, uh, but it does it by triggering it underneath. And if I remember correctly, we have a piston here. So hang on, hang on. I don't want to use any more of these. We'll use um, no, not that. We'll use dirt or yeah. I called it right there. See, Walden, I called it dirt. Um, we need another one of these. Don't need these, and we need red redstone blocks as well. Okay, so now I'm trying to go by memory as to how this works again. But I think it was. Did I put that in the right spot? No, I didn't. So this I want back, and I'm gonna drop. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay, because we're gonna work in uh, the water there, we're gonna drink some potion of water breathing and we're going to drink some night vision there you go now we can go underneath and I can't believe I put that in the wrong spot come on it should break still as long as I keep focused on it wow this is taking forever come on come on I'm, I'm invested now come on Holy cow, that took forever. Okay, that goes here, like that. This guy goes there, and this should already work. No, I got to look at it again, and I'll be back. Okay, guys? All right, okay, I figured out why I, I, I'm actually supposed to use... How am I going to do this so that I don't have to wait two hours for this to happen? Let's do this. I think it has to do with where you stand. Breathing we're not worried about right now, but if I'm standing on something, this should break a lot faster. Yeah, there we go. So, <laughs> that's awesome. The very block I was on. Oh, look, I can pick these up. Oh, no, they're despawning. They're desp they despawn. Damn it. Talk about the ultimate uh, slap in the face. Okay, so th what we need is we need a sticky piston, uh, not a sticky piston, a slime block there, and then to the to the right side of that slime block, we put that. So when you press this button here, what will happen is that s slime block will hang on to this red stone block and move it and place it underneath the... Uh, the other piston, the other sticky piston that's right here, and that will cause these three to go out because they're all sticking together, just like that. Now the light goes out, that really doesn't make, make a difference, really, it doesn't matter. 
And the whole point of this is to be able to, did I? Yeah, I did have boats. Is to be able to launch from that spot. So let's grab one of these boats, doesn't matter which. And let's do a quick little test run. So if I place the boat in the water, you'll notice because of the because of the fact that when when that goes out, it eats away the source block that's here. And now when it pulls back, the water flows in. So if I put the boat here, it's awesome because it, it sucks it right in. I should be able to get in the boat. And let's turn so I can hit the button. Hit the button and away we go. So it launches us out. Now, as I had mentioned earlier, let's go back actually. Uh, they changed the boats, they fixed the boats, but that change from 1.8 to 1.9 affected my, let's try again, this, this docking system or this launch system uh, where this doesn't always work. So sometimes when you press the button, there you go. It just kind of does that. There you go. It's happening again. So I'm going to add a small modification to it, which actually makes it so much more fun. Uh, how much time do we have? Four minutes, four minutes, because I need to get underwater again. But now I have to go and check again. So I'll be back. Give me a sec. Okay. Oh, where am I? Uh, my base. Um, completing one boat launch. Uh, so I figured it out. I, I went and checked uh, in my creative world. Um, basically what we need is we need a, a sticky piston facing the opposite way directly underneath this one like that. Then we need another slime block or was it redstone? It was redstone. A redstone block there. Then we need a, let's use, um, what can we use? We use a slime block because it's insta-break, right? That, that slime block is not actually supposed to go there. But what we need is we need a piston, sticky piston going up here, like so. That, this, yeah, that's why I use that, so underwater it wouldn't matter. And now here, what we do is we put uh, a row of slime. Whoops. I love the insta break. Oh my god, I keep missing. Oh Jesus, come on. Let's do it again. One, two, and three. And there we go. So that's the small modification that changes how this works. So this one button will launch you outwards, and then this uh, slime bar that's just below the water level is slightly behind that one, and it will shoot up causing your boat to, well, let's take a look together. Oh, it didn't work. It doesn't always work. Sometimes it will. There we go. <laughs> there you go. And Cranky showed up right in the nick of time. That's awesome. Doesn't always work. Try it. Yeah, see? There you go. There you go. He just flew. Woohoo! <laughs> it literally launches you. That's amazing. Nice, good air. All right. Okay, I'm going to cut the scene here, and uh, I will complete the rest and then bring you guys back. I think Cranky wants to let me know about something. Okay, just a quick little clip here. Uh, easy to get them. Build a fish farm, and you can make one of those. Uh, uh. I'll have to think where to put it. Thanks. So you saw Cranky came over, and what did Cranky do? Look at this. He made a bow. He, he, he's been fishing left, right, and center. He's got an automatic fisher at his base, and he's put all these bows together to make this amazing bow, pretty much like the one I had before. I can't believe it. 
And then he asked me for a name that'd be cool for a bow, and, and it ended up being the name I gave him, Le Sabateur, French. So, yeah, I can't believe it. You're welcome. Good night. Night. Thank you. Oh, my God. So, I am keeping this one safe. That's where it's staying, <laughs> unless I'm going out somewhere. I don't know how I lost the last one. It just fell out of my inventory, and I never noticed. So, be back when I have the rest of these launches in. Welcome back, guys. So, we have completed the dock. All four launch stations are complete and functional. They all have, uh, you know, stock, or um, they all have uh, <laughs> a bunch of uh, boats in the dispenser, so uh, they're available for anybody to use. All the colored boats that, uh, that were left here by Walden, I put back at the pond in spawn. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to end the episode at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. It's a simple dock, yet uh, I enjoy it. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but we're going to end this one off having a little bit of fun. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to steal these boats. And we're going to have some fun. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, bye for now, guys.